The death toll is climbing in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It is just after 6 a.m. right now in Kyiv, Ukraine's capital, and here's a live look at the city. The Pentagon says that Russia has already fired roughly 100 missiles targeting Ukraine's military infrastructure and major cities. Ukraine's president says 137 people died during the first day of fighting. Today, President Joe Biden announced more sanctions against Russia meant to cut off more than half of the country's tech imports. U.S. forces in Poland have set up camps to receive refugees from Ukraine, while loved ones here in the U.S. fear for their safety. Our Jeff Wagner spoke with Minnesotans desperately hoping for peace. Heartbroken for my family, my friends. You can't look away. It's deeply traumatizing. With the calm of prayer and the support of a community, Ukrainian Minnesotans and those of Ukrainian descent stood together, braving the cold in solidarity with those bravely fighting for their home country. It's incomprehensible. It's absolutely mind-numbing. I mean, I equivocate between crying and grinding in my teeth. How is it possible in the 21st century that you have an invasion of 200,000 men on an innocent country? Outside St. Constantine Ukrainian Catholic Church, dozens gathered to rally for peace, not long after contacting loved ones abroad. Organizers estimate there are 17,000 Ukrainian Americans in Minnesota. My family has uh, decided to accept uh, essentially internally displaced refugees uh, to stay with them, to shelter uh, in western Ukraine and uh, await what happens next. Mayor Jacob Fry told the crowd that Minneapolis stands with Ukraine before sharing how his family heritage traces back to the country, now swarmed by a Russian invasion. Supporters with ties to other European nations came out as well. A reminder, Ukrainians are not alone in their struggle. We have to do everything we can to protect democracy. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Americans are bracing for the ripple effect this war will have on our economy. Russia supplies 10% of the world's oil. Today's prices surpass $100 a barrel for the first time since 2014. That is pushing gas prices up even higher.